So before I get into the video, here's a quick breakdown on what I'm going to be discussing today. Firstly, we're going to discuss Zion Williamson's NBA debut and my thoughts on the whole game and how crazy it was. Secondly, we're going to look at the Pelicans and my thoughts on if they can make the playoffs and why I think they can, but what they may need to do to get there. And thirdly, we're going to look at some trade scenarios for the upcoming trade deadline. And I want to know before we get started in the comment section down below, what pieces do you think they need to go after in order for them to make the playoffs? And do you think they can still make the playoffs? And obviously, I want to know about what you thought about Zion Williamson's crazy performance. Anyway, let's get on to the video. So Zion Williamson officially made his NBA debut and it was the craziest debut I've seen in a very, very long time. Zion Williamson is the first player in NBA history to score more than 20 points in less than 20 minutes in their NBA debut. But if you had only watched the first three quarters, you wouldn't have imagined that. Zion Williamson in that last quarter turned the switch on and just went ham. And this video is not about Zion Williamson directly. Yes, there obviously will be a little bit of a discussion about Zion Williamson and his first ever NBA game, but this video is more so about the Pelicans, not necessarily what we learn about Zion Williamson in his first NBA game. I want to talk about the New Orleans Pelicans and now what they could be with Zion Williamson now on the team, even on a minutes restriction. He started the game off looking very slow, and I tweeted he looked like an old veteran player, like an old Sean Kemp or Shaq in his final years, but he also looked like a rookie. He made some clumsy turnovers that didn't really look like the Zion Williamson in college and even through the NBA preseason. But that's to be expected. He's coming off pretty big surgery and he's also making his debut where the pressure is on him. He was nervous and I think we could tell. But then, that last quarter, he brought the Pelicans back into the game. He's hit double the amount of threes that Ben Simmons has hit his entire career. He ended the game with 22 points, and at the start of the fourth, he only had five points. He scored 17 straight fourth quarter points, including four threes, and he also finished the game with 